All right, guys. I think this is December's much uh, much game black, or maybe it's a wheel spin. I can't remember, but it's a black premium. So we'll have to see. Again, I don't know what it is, but Earnshaw. Interesting. Oh, you know, I thought I got an Earnshaw. Interesting. I think I got like a really fancy Earnshaw. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. Is it mechanical? Oh, it sure is. Ooh, I like that. Very interesting. All right, well, let's see if I can find a video. Otherwise, we'll get right back into the review. Alright guys, so this is the Modsley Automatic, uh, and it is in the Morning Gold color. Now, I have to say, right, I've, I've been doing some, uh, what's it called, uh, Wrist Mafia watches and, and a couple other ones, and I know you guys haven't been too pleased with those <laughs> necessarily myself either, but I have about 20 really nice watches, and I actually have two Earnshaws and some other ones and I have to say they're actually really nice I am super impressed with this watch uh, and it is not even the most expensive one that I've gotten it is actually one of the dumpier ones so they will generally all get better than this with the exception of um, you know a couple watches that I will be doing um, let me just get that to fix okay so this is the uh, Earnshaw uh, Modsley, like I said. Um, I'm just gonna go right into the price first just so I can get that out of the way. Um, MSRP is $637, kind of odd, but I have to assume that that probably is some sort of, um, the reason why they're doing that is some sort of conversion from uh, British pounds. Uh, so I will do that conversion uh, back to British pounds and it'll probably be a fairly even number. And I'll put that at the bottom or the top or wherever it fits after I'm doing the editing. Um, so Earnshaw is actually a, a British company. Um, from what I can tell, it is actually a British company. Um, but uh, they were founded in 2012. But I can't seem to find where these watches are made. And so usually when they don't tell you where a watch is made, usually means that it's made in a place where you wouldn't necessarily be totally proud of it. I don't think that matters. I think it might be Hong Kong, and I think that's perfectly fine. Um, these these watches are fantastic. The fit and finish is great. Um, I'm really impressed with this watch, and like I said, this is one of the dumpier ones. Uh, I have six or seven others that are really high quality that I'm going to be reviewing um, in the next in the next few days. And I, God, it's just it really is such a nice watch. This is their skeleton model. Again, of course, it's in the um, morning gold color. <clears throat> um, you know, I don't really like skeletons so much. I think they come and go. This one's interesting. And, you know, I'll put a better picture up on the right here. And I'll have that up while I'm going over this. Because it's, it. I don't think when I'm doing this, it necessarily does it justice. Because you've got the ring light that's reflecting off of it. But inside, you can see... Um, sort of the top side of the movement, and there's really not much to see. And I never really kind of quite understood 
the point of being able to see the entire date ring with one window being a little bit more open. That's okay, I mean, it's still nice, it looks good. I still really like the design of the face. Just not sure I really understand showing the date wheel. I think it actually pr probably would have been nice if they had hid that and then left everything else. Um, but but either way, um, it still it still is very nice. <clears throat> it has, uh, I'll get right into the movement as well. It's a 21 joule automatic, and I'll put the pictures up there. Uh, it has, um, it's the, I believe if I'm not mistaken, it's the Miyota uh, 8215. It might be the newer one, I, I'm really not sure. Um, but I, I really have to look at it. I'll find out when I open it up. But it's uh, it's pretty fantastic. You know, it's a good solid movement. Does it even say it in there? I can't tell. I can't see that, but I'll, I'll update. You guys can probably see it. I, I, I can't see it when I'm doing this. So it's so, it's so, uh, so fine print and my eyesight is not getting better as I get older. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of great stuff about this watch. I mean, I'm super impressed with it. And, uh, I, I, if this is the Miyota that I think it is, it's a, it's a fantastic movement. Good rock solid, not overly expensive. Um, but it is a good solid Japanese movement. <clears throat> now, water resistance, uh, it has five ATM of water resistance, which I have to say I'm kind of surprised about. You know, I mean, five ATM is not bad. Five ATM is pretty much the minimum, my opinion, five ATM is pretty much the minimum for what you want for a watch. Um, and that's because, you know, you can jump in a pool. I, I could take the swim if I wanted, right? I'm, I'm not gonna take it snorkeling. I'm not gonna take it to the ocean. But if I, um, you know, and I'd probably take it off too when I was going, if I was going swimming, I mean, there'd be really no point. But I think this is kind of meeting the lowest common denominator in, in terms of, uh, in, in terms of water resistance. It has a screw down crown, which I know isn't the end all be all, but that is certainly um, an additional benefit to having uh, for water resistance. Uh, I suspect that they probably just did 5 ATM because it has the window and you generally won't have, um, uh, you know, that, that can pop out far more likely than the front is. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so 5 ATM, not bad. Again, that's, uh, that's what, 50 meters. So that's uh, quite decent. Um, you know, I don't think you're going to be taking this <laughs> anyway any further than that. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about? Uh, it, it really is just a fantastic look. And, and the more, the more, like I have another one from this company that will, I'll also review later. And, and it's, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, it really is great. Comes with a two year warranty. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just start doing the, the measurements as well while I'm talking about it. <clears throat> it's kind of sort of the new style that I'm seeing a lot of watches used to be if you got a watch like this with a bracelet and stuff it was either just sort of a more or less a designer watch or it was some kind of um dive watch so let's see that's yeah, i'm gonna say 43 but more and more you're starting to see watches that are both fashion and nice watches that are also coming in the style 22 and solid 14. And we're gonna do the weight also. <clears throat> and I am starting to like this sort of new style of watches that you're seeing where you get a watch that's like this. I mean, I, I don't know how new this kind of style is, but um, you know, it's a very nice looking watch. It's something that you could wear with a suit and that you wouldn't be going diving with it. 147.5 uh, website says 150, but clearly it's, it's not as much. Uh, loom is not a whole lot to it, but I'll show you. I'll turn this light off. It's really just the hour, minute hand, and then the the indicators at the end. But I will also put a picture up at the top so you can see it. I'll put it right up here somewhere. So, but very nice watch. Um, it's got the name <clears throat> on the clasp. It's got it on the back, the TE Thomas Earnshaw. It's actually got it on the crown as well, if you can see. Uh, obviously on the face, 
and I think that's about it. Uh, solid 316 stainless steel bracelet, uh, crown, case, and I also like this. This is billet. This is much, much, much better that, than compared to some of the other, other watches that I've seen, so I really do like this. Um, also, the crystal is sapphire, solid sapphire, so I really like that. Um, not just hard mineral crystal, not just coated, but it is actually sapphire front and back. So that's awesome. All right, if you like this, please subscribe and give it a like and interested in your comments below. Thank you.